Hello, welcome back to From the Roots Up, where we're building our homestead from the roots up. I'm Christy, and if you will notice, behind me, we have a house. This didn't magically appear overnight. It has been a good long while since we filmed that video that we actually posted last week, but we wanted to share a little bit of the journey of building this house with you guys. It has been a long process and we are so ready to be in it. It's not quite finished yet. Shortly after the last video, we got our dirt work done for both the house and the shop pad. And a few weeks after that, they came and put the foundation in. And then came the big wait because it was in the middle of the spring and spring in Oklahoma, there's lots and lots of rain. We had about six weeks of a rain delay because there were not two days in a row without pouring rain and our building spot was just a muddy mess and they couldn't get equipment in here and they couldn't get anything in here. So finally the guys put down lime to dry up the ground and come in and they had a couple of dry days and they framed the house and that was one of the most exciting days when they finally framed the house and once they got the frame done and they got the house in the dry it's all been moving fairly quickly they've been getting at least one or two things done every week so right after they framed they came in and they drywalled and they taped and bedded and now this week they've been doing the trim and they put cabinets in. As you can imagine, this has been one of the most difficult times to build a house in. <laughs> Two and a half years ago when we started on this journey, we never imagined that all of these things would happen. It has definitely been a lesson in perseverance and patience for sure. <laughs> you know what they say, never pray for patience because you're going to get it. I feel like I don't remember praying for patience this time, but boy, we've had it in droves. The supply chain delays and the worker shortages, it's just been a slow process, but we are so thankful. This is an enormous blessing and to be even standing here in front of our home that we hope to be our forever home is just such an incredible blessing. And we cannot wait to be moving our boxes in. This is our garage. Probably an indoor storm cellar over here. And this will be where some of my um, indoor growing takes place. And then our laundry room, walking in. And y'all, they have been doing an amazing job, our builders. Look at these closets. These, this is one of my girls' closets. Look at these beautiful built-in shelves. Oh, aren't they lovely? Now, I would be absolutely completely naive to think they will actually keep them this lovely, but <laughs> they will start out lovely. And this will be our homeschool room, the room that we spend quite a bit of time in. The view out the window is beautiful and unkempt right now, since we're not living here. But down there, once we get a couple trees trimmed, you will be able to see straight to the pond. And then the beautiful big room that's got our living room <laughs> and all the trash from the trim guys and cabinet guys right now but it's got our living room with our beautiful built-in shelves you guys i wish you could smell the smell <laughs> it's so good and our kitchen oh this pantry this pantry is so wonderful i cannot wait to fill this pantry with all of the canned goods. With all of the canning from my next year's garden, I am just so excited. And once again, a view to the pond from 
from my kitchen sink window. So wonderful. This will be our dining room. And we have a teeny tiny little patio for now. Hopefully we can expand that later because we will spend a lot of time outside. And into the master bedroom with a beautiful tray ceiling. Y'all, our builders are the bee's knees. We love them so much. They're doing such an excellent job. And this bathroom. <laughs> I'm not kidding, the first thing I'm gonna do when we move in, I don't care how many boxes I have to step over, I am soaking in this tub. <laughs> and our cabinet and our lovely walk-in closet. Again, y'all, these built-ins, they did such a fantastic job. Y'all, I know it's the weirdest little things that you get so excited about. Look at this cabinet. So, it's a broom cabinet right here take up much space it is the perfect size right here right next to where the fridge is gonna go in I'm way excited about this this was definitely one of the big splurges in our house because wood is so expensive but my sweet husband said go for it I bookshelves <laughs> these are built-in bookshelves and underneath all the cabinet space this is gonna be the living room so this is you know, this is the entertainment center. So the next thing on the builder's list is paint. And paint, oddly enough, paint and stain, have been really hard to get. They have been back ordered, but finally I believe they have them, but now they're waiting on the painter. So we're fourth in line for painting. So hopefully in the next few weeks, our house will be painted. And then for the countertops and the flooring and all of the finishing touches, and then we get to move in and we could not be more ready after a year <laughs> to move into this house. We're ready to have our own space again in our own house. Our goal is to share with you content each week so that you can be experiencing this in real time with us now and the excitement of getting these finishing touches on and actually getting our animals back right now. We have chickens. We sold most of our chickens before we moved, but we have a few chickens that were really special to us or really special to our children and they are farmed out to grandparents and um, friends and so we will get back a couple of those chickens that'll be the first project on our homestead and oh getting in the garden my garden bones are itching the first thing I'll plant is garlic so that it can overwinter and I am so excited as you can see our garden spot has a long way to go but we cannot wait to get this up and running. And this is gonna be one of our main projects for this fall. And up here is where our chicken coops will go, both within really quick walking distance of the house. We are just so excited for y'all to join us on this journey as we build our homestead from the roots up. Y'all have a great week.